The yellow one kind of sucks ass. Yeah, yellow usually always is a bad marker color. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to a video. This is I Know Something You Guys Want, and I didn't really know the format we wanted to do with this. However, um, we are actually just um, making a list video, which will already be up on the channel by the time you see this, uh, where we're going to be talking about the cards we're most excited about. And as I got, we are like five cards in, and we were talking about the cards, and I was like, I should just record this, because I know this is what, you know, YouTube wants to see. So... Uh, a few of these that we've just kind of gone through, as we, we were a few of these that we haven't said, so as opposed to retreading. Um, Butterfly Swords uh, is not too impressive for us. We don't think that's... I mostly just want to play it with Skids. What's Skids' foot? Four. Okay, yeah, he, he has high foot, and he has three fist, so you attack at five, and then... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to play nine. this one. I don't think this is worth it. Well, yeah, can even play the like, five. What is, yeah. what is it even? I mean, like, no, you can't play the yeah, five. First thing, yeah. you can't, and secondly, <laughs> what does it even do that the level two doesn't? It gives you plus one, like an extra plus one on the fight for three experience. You can use the second attack in a number of times. You only have to exhaust for the extra damage, and you get to like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess like it sort of does extra damage every time you swing it. And they do take your two hand slots, so like this is really yeah. all you have. So. I mean, unless you have a bandolier. Unless you have a like bandolier. That. Yeah. All right. Uh, combat training. These composures, like, I, like, we're not, like, against the other ones. We think the other ones are, like, fine. They just don't see a lot of play because, you know. Um, it's a big ask for three experience, though, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, like, how hard is Tommy Muldoon for this card? Pretty good. Like, Becky's pretty jealous. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Like, the foot is... The foot is irrelevant, but like, it's, it's zero to soak four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, like emergency cash, and it gives you a stat boost while you're waiting for it to happen because you're playing Tommy Muldoon and all your economy's weird and bad. Yeah, you yeah. probably just play the red one, though, because it yeah, gives you, you stats you want. You cannot. Oh, yeah, it's level three. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, this one gives you punch. Yeah. Yeah, but the red one gives you, like, a brain and book. Yeah, um, but you don't want that. Yeah, you do. You're Tommy Muldoon. Brain's good. Yeah, okay, brain's fine. You don't have any. It's practically worthless. You don't have it. So is the punch on this card. What are you talking about? Like, it gives you plus one punch, but you're already playing. Like, you play a bunch of allies and stuff. You're going to have enough punch to shoot what you want. Yeah, yeah, but this is just committed to every test that you make until it dies. Yeah. 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 Um, these skills uh, are kind of just fine. They're not bad, but I'm. Probably they're not exciting. Never gonna play them. Mm -hmm. I think I think they're really good. I think there are a lot of investigators who can make this have a lot of numbers on it, and big numbers. I, I, mean, numbers I do like do. my big numbers. Big numbers I do like my big numbers. It is right? a question yeah. of like whether they need them though too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like some are gonna be better than others, right? Like I, I do think that like having like in certain campaigns, like I think uh, playing through this Return to the Circle Undone, this would be nice to have as your mm -hmm. fighter to deal with like the foot tests that come up. So I think they're going to be like, you know, they're not just like you put in every deck, but you can find yeah. the reasons to use them. Yeah, for most for most blue characters, this is at worst, unless your name is Leo Anderson, because you're slow as hell. In which case, you know, you should be having guys fight for you, not... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's worth plus two punch, and more than plus two foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Dodge that punches back. I like this one. Yeah. Leo's too slow to use it. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, um, it's the, a great Danielle, the card that she can't play. Yeah, I was about to say, she's, she's blue-red, right? Uh, she's like, like, why? <laughs> yeah, no, I was about to say, like, this seems like it's... Because Daniela, we haven't talked about her at all in a video, but... Uh, she has five fists, so that makes her, no matter what, she's going to be good. Having five and a relevant stat. Yeah. yeah. There's one thing I'm a little salty about this expansion, is they printed lots of experience cards that are, like, synergistic with the investigator of their color, but they can't play them. Yeah. So why? This card's sick. Yeah. Uh, the Fangs of Tirth uh, or the Fangs of Tindalos, as we're probably going to call it as we go. Uh, yeah, just move and punch. Got a lot of damage. Seems sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is where we stopped on the gang up. So, uh, Bryn, I, I agree with you. Said like, if you can have this deal three, like yeah. that's yeah. So then you only you only actually need one other one one asset in play because you control your investigator card. Mm -hmm. 
Unless you're Lola, in which case, like, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter, everything you do is bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> although, like, these synergies might uh, might change that. Yeah. I still think she'll use them some par compared to other investigators. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's you just, just like... You just, get to, you just get to get the big numbers easy. <laughs> well, I mean, with all the multicolored cards, you probably can get the big numbers easy if you try anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, you can't actually play that many different multicolored cards. Why not? Before you start diluting your deck into, like... I've got scroll of secrets in my deck. I mean, like, so you guys play a little deck that's full of garbage, or pre-diluted garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your point being, Travis. <laughs> anyway, this card's really good if you can get to, if you get the three damage, uh, to the three damage mark off it. So like yeah. two different, uh, two different colors. Anything beyond that is just, it's more than you probably need. But also, hey, you might be able to one shot a deep one bolt. I love the art too. Like this ghoul's having like the worst <laughs> yeah. day of his freaking life. All right, that's, uh, that's like us the first time we beat the ghoul priest. Yeah, <laughs> where we had like we had no proper weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like standing in a circle. Let's evade this guy and hit him with what the garbage we got every turn. Yeah, uh, we got geared up. So limit one per deck. Purchase a deck creation. When your first turn of the game begins, play any number of item assets from your hand, reducing the cost of each by one. During this turn, you have three fewer actions to take. This is, like, not great, right? What are you talking about? Like, it's okay. Tell it depends a game. lot on your... I mean, okay, so... It, a lot of the cards talking about the most player not items, Bryn. Yeah, but they could be. You could play items in your deck, but you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. Like, this is like an Ever Vigilant, except not good. Yeah, yeah but you also get to include it for almost free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like... It's also forced, so if you don't want to do it, you have no way to get out of your deck and you just <laughs> give yourself the rest of the scenario. That is really funny. I just love it, like, being like, all right, I'll play this, and then I'm done. <laughs> you draw your hand, and you don't have enough items to play, and you're just like, good. That's, a, my that's, turn for nothing. that's a deck building issue. Yeah. No, like, you could definitely build around this. I just don't think it's good for most investigators. I think it's going to be good for the handyman when he shows up. Because he's yeah. only going to just have items. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're playing a backpack deck, this is probably real good. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get to play the back backpack for one less and then go find use it to go find things to play for one less. Because you get to play the Mistotair in your hand. Yeah. Do you get to resolve the backpack trigger in the middle of resolving this one? Yeah, probably. I am skeptical about Play any number. Uh, I mean, I imagine you play, it plays any number, and so it's like, play one, it finishes, and then it goes. Yeah, but like most games don't let you interrupt effects with other effects yeah, until they're game, finished resolving. Got different rules, maybe. Yeah, it is. I actually, I couldn't tell you. Like, if you put a gun to my head, and I would, there's a 50% chance yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this one is real good if you have a lot of fast items. Yeah. Because you can just play all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, this card is... I mean, it also doesn't matter. Hmm? You can just play any number of item assets from your hand. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but fast uh, items don't suck. They're usually worse than their non-fast counterparts. Except magnifying glass. Because yeah. it's yellow. Um, I would never... This card is too... Uh, I'm too scared of it. I feel like I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to whiff, and then everyone's going to laugh at me, and then I'll have to shut down the channel, so... Yeah. I, I think unless you're building a very specific deck, this card's not worth it because oh yeah, you just don't you just miss like... out in on like the important allies and yeah. non-item things you want. Will Yorick? Yes. Oh, there's a juicy Will Yorick card <laughs> in this. There's like so many. All right, get behind me until the end. Whenever an enemy would attack another investigator location, it attacks you instead, then engages you. Cancel one horde, dealt by each attack this way. Um, I think this one's fine for Dan. This is a Daniela card, and that's that's it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is also possibly a Calvin card. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. lots of yep. possible Calvin cards. You're not wrong. Uh, yeah. You can play it in Mark Harrigan because it's a tactic. <laughs> Having played Calvin, I think that most of the cards that like enable you to take damage are a trick and a trap. Yeah, maybe. Because like, the damage just happens to you. Yeah, damage does just happen in this game. Until the end of the phase, hey. So you could play this, and one of your teammates could just kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it engages you. Hey, that's why they're in playtesting. They were like, yeah. 
You Ooh. could like get, you could grief them a little bit where you're like, I'll do something stupid no, no, and it hits I, you, and then like yeah. I'll engage it back and then yeah. do something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like you could you could go run around collecting like a bunch of a bunch of rats and shit, and then come back and be like, hey, these are yours. Also, they're hitting you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> have all these rats. Uh, upgraded on the hunt. Uh, it attaches to the enemy, and then you gain three resources when you defeat it. Like and you genius. search you search yeah. the encounter deck as opposed to top nine, right? Yeah. This is like a cute economy card. I'm not sure whether it's worth three experience, but... It has a lot of it experience. It's kind of neat. It lives up to its name a whole lot better than the other one does, where you yeah. just get to pick the victory enemy in the deck and be like, no, 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 we're not waiting. That is kind of that is kind of nice, right? Yeah. Or if you just need the money, you're like, these rats have three resources yeah. in them. Yeah. yeah. This is this cultist. I'm going to kill him, and he's got a bunch of cash inside him. Yeah. What the frick? Oh, we already talked oh, about this. Oh, Justin, I can't see kick. this one. Sweet thing kick is sweet. This card's fine. It's a trick. You can probably not play it in uh, I, Rita because it's level one. I do think... No, Rita um, can play like 0 to 3, I think. Is she 0 to 3? I think so. Yeah. I think anything like that has the automatically evade has become... Like, one experience is a lot, but anything that is automatically evade on an attack has gone up in value for me. I don't think that this is... One experience is a lot for this card. This could have been like yep. a two experience <laughs> card and it'd be fine. Because it deals plus... It's like an attack that you get to hit for two. You and get evades. to add your foot and you automatically evade. That's pretty sick. I mostly just want to play a Nathaniel Cho deck where I have martial arts instead of boxing, like just punching yep. people. And a Lily Chen deck where I'm just roundhouse punching people. <laughs> so instead seems good. of... Uh, yeah. Toe to toe, it deals plus one damage, is automatically successful. It's additional cost from this attack, the chosen enemy makes an attack against you. Look, it's a Daniela card. Yep. It's a Daniela. This card's yeah. like fine in uh, the Nacho too. Yeah, like yeah. it's fine. It's fine in Nacho. It's probably fine in Tommy Muldoon as well, where you can be like, fight my dog. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they fight your dog, and they're like, oh man, that dog hurts, and then you hit them with an axe. It's probably uh, like okay. It has some synergy, yep. but I think it's hard to justify playing this That's over it. other cards in uh, Tommy. Yeah. Seeker. That's fair. I, I hope to see an upgraded version of this one day where it's fast. Yeah. yeah maybe. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, this thing, the squid book. <laughs> the squid book. All right, so let me like the deck. This one. To play this asset, place one resource on four different locations as ley lines. After you successfully investigate the location of the ley line, exhaust this asset. Move that ley line onto this asset. Then, if there are four on it, discard it. Take its ley lines as resources. Record your campaign long that you've identified the gateway. Um, these are always the first step to their upgrades. So they have uh, four ley lines. Uh, move one ley line from this asset to a non-elite enemy. It's a lightning bolt. Choose an investigator and an enemy with a ley line at a reveal location. That investigator moves to that location. You may remove that ley line to deal one damage to that enemy. So yeah, you can grief your teammates with this one, but you're right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that one's good. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is also move a ley line to a revealed location. Choose an investigator and in a revealed location with a ley line. That investigator moves to that location. You may remove that ley line to have them take an investigate action. Seems also sick. Good. Seems sick. Uh, to a non elite enemy is the ley line. Choose an investigate. Engage with an enemy with a ley line. That investigator disengages from that enemy and moves to a connecting location. You may remove the ley line to automatically evade that enemy, and it does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So. I think weaker than the other two, but like still fine. Yeah. Still fine. It can yeah. it can automatically evade elite enemies. Yep. Without yeah, this a test. Is, well, no, you can't. You can't well, you have to get line. a ley line on them somehow. Yeah. Which is maybe not possible. I don't know. <laughs> uh, to an investigator is the ley line. Choose an investigator with a ley line. That investigator draws one card. Heal and heals a damage or a horror. You may remove that ley line to have them set draw two and heal two or two. I think this one's pretty solid. Also, it's the gateway to paradise. Oh, so sick! Let's go. Yeah. Sign me up. Caroline can play this one. Yep. I think that the healing cards in this expansion are like a little bit more valuable because of the the personal weaknesses, which yes. I kind of hate the design of those. But I'm, I'm kind of feel I kind of feel similar. Hey, Norman Withers, Force Learning, permanent uh, deck creation. Increase your deck size by fifteen during each upkeep phase. <laughs> Instead of drawing one card, draw two cards and discard one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Playing lots of yellow uh, decks with this in it. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Why limit one per deck? As <laughs> you play. Um, Why can't I roll up with my 70 so, card Mandy deck? Um, 80 card Mandy deck that draws <laughs> still two cards and discards one of them, but still. Um, for players who might 
uh, not know why. Like we say, versatile is bad because it dilutes your deck. Why does is this one not as bad as versatile for diluting your deck? I I know the reason. I'm not. You get to draw deck. twice as many cards, yeah. right, and you're only increasing your deck size by fifty percent. Assuming yeah. that you're not one of the weirdos. Yeah. yeah. Also, like yellow is just like versatile goes into uh, every investigator's deck. This goes into yellow investigator's decks, and like versatile is at its best in yellow characters' decks, in my yeah. opinion. Because they can draw cards and find role. things out. Yeah. Yeah, cards sweet. It's going to be fun. Sick. Yeah. Hiking boots. Another footwear. It's a one experience. You get plus one for foot. After the last clue is discovered from your location, exhaust it. Move to a connecting location with at least one clue or to a connecting unrevealed location. Those look like clogs or some kind of dress shoes instead. This guy's <laughs> going yodeling. <laughs> Fantasy fly. Why do we not get uh, get some sort of little cute foot, foot icon in the yeah. bottom corner? I, I know, I know. It's also not in the rules. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I do wish I'd there like was that. a foot. Just little cute little feetsies. Um, little. Don't be like I'm that. Always, <laughs> I'm always <laughs> excited for new cards that might make Ursula better. Yeah. By might, I mean like... Yeah. Do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like it... This would have been great in that Carolyn deck I played. Yeah. 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 No, I think just free move after getting clues is you're going to be doing that as the seeker. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, even if the the foot doesn't mean anything to you, yeah. although wearing hiking boots makes you better at lock picking things. Yep, it That's also just, seems great in Monterey Jack. You know, get yeah, free I was going to say yeah. it's like really good in him. Yeah. All right. Also, like connecting unreveal location is also really sweet too. That is very strong. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy, Jeremiah Kirby, like this guy. Uh, you get plus one book, he's four cost. After he enters play, choose even or odd, reel the top five cards of your deck, draw each card with a cost that matches the chosen option, shuffle the remaining cards into your deck. I might actually hide this guy now, over <laughs> Dr. Milan. Yeah. We're hostile, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are still. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What if it's every... a magic plus one book? Plus one book, and also the, the one damage soak yeah. is a lot more relevant than you would think. In Seeker. Yeah. Okay. Travis, you gotta build you, you gotta build a deck where every card in your deck is even costed. Okay. But also you have fifteen extra cards and you get to draw two cards. <laughs> every time so you can just fire up this guy do, and be do, like, do. I'll draw five oh, no, I'll draw five cards. You play this guy, he like draws a bunch of cryptic researches, you're like, oh, um, I got money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess like the missing part of this is is zero odd or even or neither in this game. Oh it's yeah. even. Is it even? I yeah. Think, yeah. Because okay. the next number is odd. Yeah, but zero is zero. Yeah, but it's even and it's, it's not count. properly a number. Yeah, but like it is for these games. Yeah. It's always even, actually. Uh, join the caravan. It's a five cost, one experience, fast. Play only during your turn. Reduce the cost of this card by one for each different class. Long cards you control move to any revealed location. This is like fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, how, how cheap does it have to get before it's good? And the short answer is it depends on the scenario. If it's good, <laughs> it doesn't matter how much it costs. Yeah, yeah. when it's good, you're going to be happy you're playing it. If it's no bad, it, it also doesn't matter if it costs zero. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, if it costs zero, it's just like meh shortcut. Yeah, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, it is fast, yeah. yeah. Uh, medical text. T two experience. Uh, choose an investigator location. Test book two. If you succeed, heal one damage from them. Two damage set if you succeed by two or more. If you fail, either exhaust it or deal one damage to that investigator. This is better, but I still think it's bad because it takes a hand slot. Mm -hmm. That's tough for uh, yellow investigators sometimes. Yeah, yeah but you can you can make it take up, uh, take up an arcane slot. You could. Yeah. I still don't think it's particularly great. And then you can play the book. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of. Yeah. This one's so good. All right, the prophecy profana, Atlas of the Unknowable. Four cost, five experience. It better be good for five. Uh, while you're not at the locus, you get plus <laughs> one book and plus one foot. You may ignore tax of opportunity. Uh, as a reaction after under's play, choose a reveal location. That location is the locus until it leaves play. As an action, move any investigator to the locus. It's, yeah. it's sick. That is pretty so this, sick. This card <laughs> kind of just is like, suck it. Half of the Forgotten Age. Yep. And you got to get back to the beginning cool word, which is there. I'll spend three actions. Good. Everybody's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems sick. I, I, lo I love so much about this card. Just you read it and you're like, this is, uh, the book's so epic. It is so good. Yeah. 
Uh, scientific theory, it's the composure. Yeah. Plus one book is not as valuable here because there's so many other ways to get plus one book in Seeker for like less yeah. This is still like really nice for um, Joe Diamond. It is yeah. really nice. He yeah, because he gets the fist. Yeah. Because yeah. you get the three, uh, the three brain soak, which is kind of huge. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Other than that, it's like kind of bad. <laughs> uh, another one of these. Um, I think this one is much better than the blue one. On I account agree. of if you are yellow and you have monster problem and you must solve problem now and no one can help you with the problem, what do you do? Foot much more valuable, yes. Yeah, yeah. like in that, in that scenario, foot is much more valuable. Um, and honestly, you probably don't actually need to commit it for book, but if you do, you're probably getting two-ish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, what does this art have to do with anything? Like, why is the know. guy he's, he's slaving surveying. away? Why is the packing wheel so prominent? See, this this guy, this guy. Uh, yeah, like, I know he's, 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 sur he's surveying the area, and this yeah. guy's carrying all this heavy ass camera gear because it's it, 1920. It does look like yeah, they had like far to the right to him. There was like a monster yeah. in the trees, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, we can't do that." I like the colors on the art. It looks good, but yeah, I this is a nice piece really of art. It like, just is a little bit odd. Yeah, yeah, this this one fits into the King Kong theme deck. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, Bryn. New Unearth the Ancients. Investigate. Choose up to two seeker assets in your hand. The difficulties test is equal to the combined cost of those chosen assets. If you succeed, put the chosen assets to play one at a time for each relic asset put into play by this ability. Draw one card. Uh, disagree. It actually provides some action economy now. Um, does that make it amazing? No. However, if you're looking to put relics into, hand, into play from your hand, and they don't cost too much, this okay. is a pretty solid way to do it because you just get to you get to test like, you know, maybe if you're testing four, you can probably beat it, assuming not you're not playing on hard like hard or expert because mm -hmm. hard you still probably could, but it might cost you a little too much to make it worth it, and then you get to draw cards to replace them. If they don't cost that much, <laughs> then like you just spend your like you get to save basically like an action on it without you get to save like three actions because you draw cards to replace them you have to save three actions yeah, you do no you have to like spend this card yeah okay so you spend this card in one action instead of spending two cards and two actions and then you yeah, also so don't have to pay the money you save two actions but you also don't have to pay the money yeah but you have to make a test sure I think that pretty balances like, it, out for me it depends. It depends which uh, which relics you want to you want to put into play. Unlike yeah. the other one, I might ever play this. You also still get a clue. <laughs> yeah, like it's definitely better than the other one. I, I don't disagree. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you do get a clue. Actually, that's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. It doesn't replace the effect. Again, probably like never actually gonna play this card, but it costs two experience. Yeah, two it is it is a lot. But you know, it depends what relics you're trying to put into play. I think. And also, still nice, uh, as we talked earlier, the concern about uh, there was a lot of cards in this pack, still just upgrading cards that are like, need yeah. some help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a nice upgrade, it's just. Yeah. I do also appreciate uh, like revisiting archetypes that are maybe not pop mm -hmm. super popular and mm -hmm. giving them new toys. Uh, we talked about this one in the past, it's for Norman Withers, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. That's cool. so that's a, it's a dog. Okay, rogue cards. Gross. 21 or bus, we talked about this one, right? This is the gambling one? Yeah, this one's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's, yeah. Black market, we talked about this one or no? I don't think so. I think I'd recognize oh, that God, guy. Oh, God, what is yeah. this art? So it's a two, a two experience, favor, fast, play at the start of the investigation phase, one at a time, reveal the cards on the top of any investigator's deck until exactly five cards have been revealed. Set those cards aside out of play. While set aside, any investigator may play any of those cards if they were in their hand. At the start of the next invest investigation phase, shuffle each of those cards, still set aside, into its owner's deck. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it's, uh, I think this one is also like the last one. Oh god, this cost two experience? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but can you just imagine Bryn being like, come look at my wares. <laughs> buy what I you mean, would like, like to buy. I, w I I'm hoping to play Bob Jenkins on the first uh, the first run through. I think he's yours. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Because he is actually the green character. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike Monterey Jack, who is decidedly yellow, both in hue and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got jaundice. Uh, he's, he's got jaundice. Had jaundice. Whatever. I think uh, this card's. Uh, I don't think we're like we're gonna play it once, and then we're gonna be like that was fun, and we'll never play it in a campaign after that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this to show people cards from their own deck, and I'm like, "Did you know that you were playing these?" <laughs> and then Bryn's gonna buy them. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy them because it's my turn right now. Uh, cheat the system. This is a one experience fast play during any lightning bolt window. Gain one resource for each different class and one cards you control. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. You're getting like three from it. You're pretty happy, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's like in a fast emergency cash. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're getting two at fast, it's still pretty okay. Yeah. I wouldn't be upset about it, but... Yeah. Um, but we want to go higher. Yeah, considering, like, you could be playing an easy mark in this slot as well, I think I would want to consistently get three, personally. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, but you could be playing easy mark and this until eventually you realize that all of the cards in your deck just gain you more resources and you don't actually have anything <laughs> to do with them. Yeah, no, that's when you open the black market, Brian. <laughs> You play other people's cards. Yeah, yeah. playing other people's cards. This card's Ooh, sweet. Favor. Two experience, two cost. Fast. Play when you draw non-weakness treachery. Cancel that card's revelation effect and draw the top card of the encounter deck. You can increase its cost by two to change the encounter deck to your deck. You can increase the cost by two to change you to any investigator. Seems sick. Go, it's Preston card. Yeah. Yeah. That seems fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, four... Four is a lot, but also drawing a card off your deck and not the encounter deck is, also, like, also kind of a lot. Yeah. yeah. Those commits for two brains. Yeah. yeah. We'll be EV. Yeah. Upgraded money talks uh, is equal to half the number of resources rounded down, draw a card. Also, you can do it when any, when an investigator, investigator at any, any location. Any location. So you can bribe yeah, and people. And it's your or, money, yeah. not theirs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's just like, it's, just it's like the ward of protection version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you put two experiences into it. I hope it's just better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, green cards aren't always. I know. Sometimes they print them and then they're like, wow, this actually just sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let, I mean, let's soft rework level, it. The, the base level money talks is also like real good if you're playing the deck that it's meant for, like many green cards. Uh, they are good in exactly one type of deck. Mm -hmm. uh, Moxie, plus one brain, plus one foot. This one's actually good. I agree. Plus brain, plus foot. You can I spend think it was, it's my favorite of the other ones too, the level zero and Moxie. I think is. I like the red one. I like I like Moxie just good. because when somebody plays it, you can say, "I like your kid. You got Moxie." <laughs> is yeah. the dog Moxie? Is that Maybe. his name? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got to pay so much money to get a workable brain score, though. Yes. I mean, it depends who you're playing. Like fucking six. Yeah, but sometimes it's better than failing a brain test. Nah. <laughs> I mean yeah, six. Okay. You don't need seven brain. Eight brain. <laughs> uh, savant. It gains uh, wild icons equal to your lowest skill other than the skill being tested. So Side one. Card. <laughs> one for green investigators. Unless you are testing brain. Yeah, yeah. and then it's probably like plus three. And so it's probably four. like three. -ish. I think this card's yeah. pretty okay. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be like super excited about it. Like a lot of these cards are sort of things that I wouldn't play with a full collection, but I would be happy to play with a limited yeah. collection. This is also, like, you know, kind of just cool. Yeah. But it is sick of <coughs> too, because you want those yeah. wilds for your... Yeah. Uh, You're only ever drawing side. wild at the at the tests that are not your good numbers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we talked about it's this card, like, game. it's, yeah, just a great card. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah. The Black Fan. It's exceptional. Three, uh, so Genie six card. experience. While you have 10 plus resources, you get plus one health and plus one sanity. 15 more resources, you may take one additional actions during your turn. 20 plus resources, you get plus one to each of your skills. Can we just stop and appreciate how, exactly how much better this card is than Dario El Amin? Yeah. Uh, he requires you to spend 14 resources for plus one to two of your skills. <laughs> this requires you to spend 23 resources for an extra action plus one to all of your numbers. I mean, Dario also is a level zero card. Uh, this is level six, and you're only going to play one of them. I don't see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. But this is also a relic. Yeah. It, it makes no, me think of the Aladdin like tap, which scares me, but that's okay. It's nice support for that archetype. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. The Red Clock. I think we talked about this one. We talked yeah. about the upgraded one, I think. What? Or there's a garbage one? Yeah. So, no, we talked about one of these, but I don't remember which, but... Basically, after turn begins, you may take all your charges here as resources. Place one charge here. If it has one charge, you get plus four to your next skill value for your next skill test. Two charges, you may move to three times. Three charges, you may take two additional actions this turn. Versus plus three, move two, take an additional action. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure that the upgraded version, the level five version, is worth the six additional experience, personally. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it would be if you could have both of them in play at the same time, but because they are exceptional and also unique, <laughs> you may not. Um, it also commits for an extra while. Right. Yeah. It does. Yeah, Matt, so if, if I'm so paying for an exceptional card and I'm throwing it at a skill test, I'm actually griefing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like TikTok. It's Red Clock, but that's about it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I think this card is fine. I think so too. I don't think I'll, I don't think it's not a me card, but I, I see Bryn getting great value out of yeah. it. No, it's yeah. a cool card. Yeah. Underworld support. Limit one per deck, purchase a deck creation. Oh. Your deck cannot include more than one copy of each non-weakness, non-signature card by title. Reduce your deck size by five. I have the honest think this card is garbage. I'm going to play with this card <laughs> so many times. Like, the only thing... At least one time. At least one time. Yeah. That's a yeah. PPG guarantee. I do yeah. think this deck, or this card could be cool in a parallel skits deck, so you'll have to play with 20 cards. That does seem sick. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but then you also can't play six luckies. You can play one lucky. Yeah, that, that is fun. true. That is true. One of the things that uh, Green struggles with a lot, though, is, like, redundancy. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like for a, like your bread and butter stuff, right? If you're a, if you're a guardian, you have lots of options to kill stuff with. If you're playing green, you have like notably less. Yeah. If that's your role. Yeah. Uh, the thing I see this being good for is playing with exceptional cards. Uh, you just have five less cards in your deck and are more likely to find your powerful exceptional cards. Yeah. I, I like cards like this because it does challenge runs for us. And like, there's things that we can actually have control over. So <laughs> this might be really neat, like Safina. Mm -hmm. We just get to see so much of your deck, and you get to see even more oh, yeah. now. No. Yeah. And then I she know. gets redundancy through her uh, like hand worlds. When yeah. they stop making cards for this game, like stuff like this, and like we have like a giant thing, you could like run an underworld support deck, no yeah. problem, probably, mm -hmm. because then there's like a lot of redundancy and power. Yeah. We talked about this one. Bob likes buying things. Yep. That's it. We're going on to purples. Astronomical Atlas. Make it bigger. Make it astronomical. It's um, a Norman Withers card. Oh, I think we've talked about this one, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's like okay. the one that Smith skill cards off his deck. Easy. Mm -hmm. Very right. cool. Mm -hmm. Close the circle. Oh my god, what are they doing? Two costs, one experience. Close the circle. <laughs> God damn it. It's like you don't even read cards. No, I just read that a lot. I'm actually, uh, uses one charge for each. Oh, it's a synergy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as an act, as a lightning bolt, spend a charge and exhaust, close the circle, take a basic action. For each skill test performed during that action, you may use your brain instead of the skill indicated for that action. I like. I think there's too much going on with this card. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it seems powerful, even being able to, like, lightning bolt to basic investigate with your good number. I mean, I suppose it like, is it doesn't, free action. Yeah, like, right? it, doesn't, it doesn't cost you the action itself, right? Yeah, it is a free action. No, but it is once per turn, and, like, how many charges do you need to have for this to be better than, um, like... Probably, th two. I'd say probably three. Like, three is, like, where you get, like, happy, but, like, two of your charge-focused deck, maybe. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, free... Is, is, the effort for this, nice. is it better than just, like, Right of Seeking level 2? Hmm? Is this better than just, like, Right of Seeking level 2 no, for the amount can, of effort you have to But you can have through? both. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of cards I can play in purple that give me multiple clues. <laughs> I don't see the problem. Take basic fight action. I don't think it's bad. The flexibility yeah. is nice, but, like, I'm skeptical of these cards that want you to play a bunch of other classes. Yeah. I yeah. Could, I could be wrong about it, but... Have to see it in practice. I mean, I also think, like, this could be, uh, like, a, an evade thing, too. Like, use it for that, right? As a thing to just have as a backup if you don't want to run. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're a synergy deck, this can replace your Missarilla, right? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think just uh, you want to get... It depends on how many charges you can get and then what else you're doing. So, I, I think we have to see synergy in practice before we can really know what's what. Down the rabbit hole, permanent, limit one per deck. Okay, after each scenario of a campaign, reduce the experience cost of the first two cards you upgrade before the next scenario by one. Increase the experience cost for you to purchase new cards by one. This card is really good when you want to just upgrade your spells. Yeah. And if you don't want to do that, it is very bad. Yeah. 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 Like, imagine you roll up to a scenario, and you're like, scenario one, spend two experience to upgrade both of my warrior protections and upgrade my right of seeking level two for free. 
I'm going to wager we're going to see a limit one per deck on Arcane Research soon, and then they're like expecting you to run that and down the rabbit hole for it. No, don't be like that. I think they're going to. Don't be like that. <laughs> Just print cards right the first time. Yep. We talk about Dragon Pole? Yeah, you can tell that it's small. Foresight! One experience. This guy's only got two sight. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Play when an investigate a location with draw a card from their deck or from the encounter deck. Name a card. If the card drawn, if the drawn card is the name card, that investigate may either cancel the card's effect and discard it, or immediately play that card at minus two cost. So it's like for it's like Norman Withers card or, or Gloria. Gloria, yeah. Old people represent. <laughs> <laughs> Old people, they got foresight. You could play some like just anyone's deck as well with like scroll of secrets. Scroll of yeah. secrets also uh, what's her nuts? Alyssa. Yep. That's who that's the nuts I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the cards uh neat in the decks that it's made for. Oh man. So here's the line. You play your scroll of secrets, you look at the bottom card of their deck. It's a weakness. You put it on top, you play foresight and name it. <laughs> and they get to draw it and play it at minus two cost. And then they're really mad at you for the rest of the day at least. But wouldn't it get cancelled because it turns into a treachery and you discard does it? Does it? I think I'd wager it does. Cancel that card's effects and discard it. No, you get to pick which one. The, and that investigator Damn choose. it. <laughs> no, Brent, I thought you I was being like, Brent, did I? No, that like, investigator may either choose one you choose. I'm pretty sure. If that card is drawn, that investigator. May either. Like, that investigator yeah, does yeah. the thing, but yeah. you're the one who gets yeah. to pick because it's yeah, your yeah. card. You know. Oh, okay. You choose one, but then all right. But we're, let's let's forget the grieving. This still gets rid of weaknesses if you see them, right? Yeah. Like this also might not be an awful card into some later scenarios where you just late in the game you just blind name ancient evils. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I'm I mean, how many times have we been like, man, we just need to dodge two ancient evils this turn? Yeah. 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 Play this. Like, I'm I'm willing to bet that the top card of the deck is Azathoth offering me a coin. Yeah. 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 I don't care if it actually is or not. And I mean, like, if how it isn't, I still win. Yeah. How sick are we gonna cheer <laughs> like up. when like one of us just blind names Ancient Evils or Azathoth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, grounded. Plus one on skill value during spell cards. Two two. It's plus one brain effectively, but worse. Sick. Yeah. Two two brain is sick. Two yeah, two like the soak for this one is really is like really good because it doesn't just die to one thing. Yeah. <laughs> This one's pr quite good as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Healing words upgraded. Four charges. Spend a charge. Heal two damage from among investigators at your location. Yeah, it's clarity of mind, but yeah, it's damage. It's, yeah. it's still kind of bad. No, you you play you play the level zero one to remind you to upgrade to this one, and then your team you sit down. Your die. team's like, why are you playing healing words and clarity of mind? You're like. Like I'm not, I'm not using them on you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put you on the list. <laughs> Look, you want to be like that? Uh, meditative trance, free to your arcane slots that is filled, either heal one damage or one horror. This is kind of dirt. But how many arcane slots could you fill? Um, Four? Five? In your level lots. zero deck, like probably two realistically. Yep. Yeah. But like it could be lots, you're not wrong. In your level zero deck, it can be four. Yeah, but you have to work really hard for it. Not that hard. Just like a little bit hard. Well, the you hard, have to play But all the both. hard work you've done from the damage and horror you've taken from not doing anything else is now <laughs> neutralized yeah. by this card. You have to... Because you have to play both copies of your hand is now an In arcane Incorrect. Symbol. You can also play... You can have seven, you can also right. You can also play ally. You have an extra arcane slot. Yeah, because okay, so you can have uh, But you then have you have five. to, you you have have to fill five. them, right? You also have to play yeah. five cards to take up those <laughs> slots. And then pay two for this. Easy. Yeah. You're, paying, you're paying for them all with your friggin' or, uh, seven resources to, you're for to them play your, your other gold. stuff, and then you have to fill up the other five <laughs> slots of more resources, and then still have two resources to play this to heal yourself. Yeah. Spring can do that in his I, sleep. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see the problem. Yeah. All right, I'll go to the next card because uh, you know, one day we'll see. It proofs of the pudding. Occult theory. What's in your hand? Oh, it's the brain or book. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one isn't that exciting because you usually have ways in this color, these colors, to put your brain and book up already, like, you know, high enough. And how often is the game telling you to make a book test on a treachery card? Not too often. Yeah, it's nice for the ones who have low brain scores. Mm -hmm. um, or, like... 
for the ones who have middling scores, like Luke gets either plus three or plus four from this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Daisy, this is Turbo Guts. <laughs> it is Turbo Guts. It yeah. is. Same thing for Mandy. Yeah. But don't you have better things to do in Mandy than play that? Yeah. No. I've been trying not to bring that up since we talked about it incessantly with the Guardian cards, that most of these just have better things to be doing with them. Yeah, yeah. With That's your cards and resources, but... Um, upgraded Parallel Fates, look at the top six cards of Investigator's deck or the Encounter deck. You may either return them to the top of that deck or shuffle them into the deck. If you look at Investigator's deck, that Investigator may draw a card. This card's, like, almost good. Yeah. Really good in Glory, of course, because the other one was. But not having to, like, randomly throw them back is pretty sweet. I think, like, mm -hmm. yeah, um, with the look at six cards from the top of the deck is pretty nice because then you can like take a turn off if you like don't have a list already so there's a little bit less pressure on Gloria to I'm get your ability every turn. to play some uh, play some miracles in Norman. It's yeah. gonna be fun. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Got my dividend tops and my scrying. I forgot why I put on top book guys just a second. This card is magic. <laughs> this card is so good. Man. One charge. Replenish this charge at the start of each round. That's already sick. You may resolve abilities on spell assets in your hand by revealing them from your hand. Oh, in your hand by revealing them from your hand. Treat two of true magic as if it was a revealed asset. That's really cool. Yeah, you're just actually a mage. Yeah, that's sweet. You don't cool have to play, you, you don't have to play your cards. You're just like, yeah, I'll just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just know how to cast fireball. Yeah, yeah. no, that's cool. I'll just cool shrivel five this guy when it's convenient for me. Yeah. So sweet. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So if you use this as though it were Armageddon or any of that family of spells and you reveal curse tokens, you just get to add more yep. charges onto the thing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sick. That is sick. Winds of power. Two cost, one experience. Mm. Place two charges on an asset you control after you draw it during your turn. Play it. You put it on the card that we just saw. Yeah. You can. Beautiful yeah. art, too. I really like that. Akachi! You can also yeah. play this in Calvin, but why you would, I have no idea. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, put <laughs> them on your... No, you can't play that card in Calvin. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this card's really good for Akachi. This card's really good for Luke. Yep. This card is very good for Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> you're just doing your turn... And you, you're like looking through the cards, and you're like, I'll draw Wardens of Power, and I'll just play it for free off my Mr. Rook and put charges on my Pendant of the Queen. Yeah. Yep. Oh, baby. And it's Guts. It is Guts. Uh, is that guy not here? Do I not have the guy who is the card that I'm most excited about? Oh, my God. Is he actually purple, or is he yeah. multicolored? Oh, he might be multicolored. But I think he's purple. We'll find out. I think almost all the allies are multicolored. Here, I'll just quickly check multicolored because uh, I might have missed one. Uh, multi-class. She knows it's a multi-class. Dude, is he just not here? One second, I'm going to pause the video, everybody. All right, he is a multi-class, so we're good. Bandages. Two costs, uses three supplies. If it has no supplies, discard it. After an investigator, ally asks a location, takes one or more damage, spend a supply, heal one damage from that card. Um, it's, this one's actually kind of okay. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have healing that doesn't require more actions than your initial investment. Yep, yeah, you can uh, heal up beat cops. Is it nice Pro in your work? Probably. <laughs> I mean, like, I was trying not to say that. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, yeah, like, like, it is, right? It's an, like, it's, an item, it's an item asset that says discard it on the text. Yeah. It's yeah, it does seem sick with Beacop. Like like, he's fine, he's yeah. fine, he's yeah. fine, yeah. And in York, where the Beacop can shoot the guy and then you can just get the bandages back. Yeah. Oh, that's juicy. Uh, excuse me. Or like Greta. Like, get a clue, she's fine. Yeah. Bangle of Jinxes! <laughs> uh, one charge. Uh, one experience. Spend one charge, you get plus two skill value for this test. After enemy attacks, you place one charge on Bangle of Jinxes. You'd think this would be a Daniela card. card. Is it not? Can she it not is. play red cards that yeah, are level she's, zero? She's, oh, yeah, 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 no. Yeah, I also get them yeah. mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's what anyway, she, that's yeah, what she do. Yeah, this is a Daniela card. That's what yeah. she do. Done. Yeah. Uh, it could also, it could also be like a Tommy Muldoon card. Yes. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. yeah. Blood will have blood. So sick, so metal. metal. Two experience. Shit. Fast play for enemy attacks. You max one per attack. 
Damage horror from this attack cannot be assigned to ally assets. For each point of damage and or horror you took from this attack, draw a card. Daniela, obviously. Um, Is this good? Maybe. It's too experienced. I think it, I mean, in, I think in Daniela it's going to be good. I think it depends how many cards you're drawing. Yes, well, yes, this card would be good. If you're like, I'll draw five cards, yes. Yeah, this card would be really good if it was draw three cards. You fight me all the soft off and you just draw five cards. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then he gorps you yeah, because you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they, also you're dead. Um, I think this card's okay, but not great. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Burn after reading. Okay, let's go. One experience. Exile a level 0 to 5 card in your hand. Discover two clues at your location. If the exiled card is level 2 or higher, remove one doom from the current agenda. Exile, burn after reading. This is nice, like, exile support. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, pretty much all of these fan design cards I find are, like, convoluted. Yeah, but that's probably why they let them do it. Because they're not just, like... This card just like you know is a simple absolute meter, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I guess that is probably why they let them do it. But um, yeah, I mean, discovering two clues and removing a doom in the exile deck seems good. In exile, it needs a bit more to yeah. really be there. Yeah, you can also use this card as kind of a weird mobile adaptable. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Could. I mean, yeah, discovering two clues for two cards and a resource. It's pretty okay. Yeah. And like kind of two experience. Yeah. One yeah. experience maybe. It yeah. depends. Dauntless Spirit. It's another one of those yeah, skills. This one's good. Brain and fist and fist and brain. Yeah, seems uh, pretty sick. Silas says, hello! Yeah, you, yeah. Can, uh, you can play this card in Wendy and it doesn't matter that it doesn't do anything because you can just discard it and it's still good. I mean, you can also punch something for, like, five if you needed to. Yes, yeah. Which is kind of wild. True. This is true. <laughs> yeah. So that tipped over coconut. It is. Yeah. Rough day. Uh, fend off. Two cost, three experience. Fast point, not an enemy spawns your location. That enemy attacks you, then automatically evade that enemy attach it. It cannot ready. This card's super awkward. <clears throat> for Daniela, anyway. It's, like, fine for other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because her job is to... Well, it's like, because the enemy attacks you, and then either you put damage on it, in which case it's going to be evaded and unable to ready, so why put damage on it? But then yeah. your other option is to evade it, so it's yeah. already getting evaded, so what's the yeah. point? Yeah. Um, but, but anyway, like, to, like... It does, like, save you an action mm -hmm. and can trigger your other stuff before your turn starts because it's when it spawns. Mm -hmm. But... I think, yeah, it's just, uh... Sometimes saying no to enemy is just good. Mm -hmm. Say no. Say bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Fire extinguisher level three. Fight. You get plus one fist and you get plus one damage for this attack. Discarded evade automatically evade all enemies engaged with you. You may exile instead of discarding it to discard each non elite enemy evaded by this. Oh attack. my god! They did. They add the one thing it needed to be real. Okay. Plus one damage. Plus one damage. Look, I've been trying not to say this about like every red card I ever see, but like. Oh, Yorick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Just going to bring it back, yeah. Plus, it's also just a plus one, plus one weapon yeah, for, for two. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a good place to be. Yeah. Oh, just good. Yeah. And I mean, also, like, it's a super, Ooh. in the Exile deck, it's like uh, the frickin' uh, turkey, but, like, yeah. it also yeah. kills them, right? Right. Even, yeah, even if you're just throwing it away for, for turkey. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. pretty okay. I'm real confused why it only takes up one hand slot, though. Really strong. No. He's using two hands. Yeah, no, but it's not he's about weak. It, it's <laughs> not about being strong. It's a, have your kid go grab a fire extinguisher, try to hold it with one hand, and also hold the hose with the other hand. I use my mouth, Travis. Yeah, yeah you don't. Do. They don't require you to use a mouth slot. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't really make sense to me. This is probably also super good, in Silas. You just get extra damage weapon forever. Honestly, yeah. Like, yeah. add a little bit of extra consistency out of that. This is just like a great weapon for any yeah. red character who wants to fight. Yep. Yep. Uh, jury Rig. Zero cost. Uses three durability. Attach an item as controlled by an investigator at your location. 
As a lightning bolt during a skill test, untouched assets, spend one durability, get plus two skill value for this test. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I've got a board with a nail in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just fine. Yeah. Plucky. It's nice. Relevant stats. Yep. Yeah. We've talked about these enough. We've talked about you. Schaffner's catalog. catalog. Will Yorick. Short supply. Permanent. One limit, one per deck. Purchase decoration. When you're first in the game begins, discard the top ten cards of your deck. Is that supposed to be a cost? <laughs> no, baby. Like, That's the reward. It is. It's both. Yeah. It is just like... Why wouldn't you? With Yorick? No, just in general. I probably wouldn't grab this in, like, Silas. Because he needs things, and if he loses them, like, if he loses his weapon, right? I probably wouldn't. Yeah, think. but how often are all your weapons going to be the top ten cards of your deck, and you also can't cobble them together with Scrounge for Supplies or Resourceful? That is true, but I, I just, I, I don't think I would. Because, like, I, it's, it's not so much like that I want, like, a 20-card deck with Silas, right? I'm going to play this in every red deck that I ever play again. Like, I almost think this card's worth it in every red deck, just, except for maybe Wendy, just for the information. Yeah, like, Wendy, Wendy's real risky, like, did you? It's really good, really bad, but, yeah. like, yeah. it just tells you how you can play, how you need to play the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. No, I think, uh, I think red does have enough recursion effects to make free dredge 10 every game. Uh, or mill yourself, or however, however <laughs> you guys want to frame that. Uh, put your t the top 10 cards of your deck into your discard pile. I think there's enough recursion in red to make that worthwhile most of the time. Yeah, like there's a couple of the off-red investigators who wouldn't want, like Min, probably not. Um, Tommy doesn't want it, I don't think. But like any of the primary red guys. Yeah. Again, except yeah. maybe when it depends how lucky you feel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you're also playing, uh, playing like chance encounter and stuff, it's like yeah, like extra. Chance, like yeah. there, there are so many ways to fish things out of your graveyard. If you're playing with red cards, this card is a shoe in for Lula. Yeah, I feel yeah, like the first to bring this up. Yes. Yeah. Again, just for the information. Yeah. Also, it's your red card. Yeah, it is your red card all the time. It's a red card. No, no, it's your red card. We'll go to the neutrals before we do oh, our multi-class. We released a video on this one. This was our spoiler, so we don't need to talk about it again. Uh, heavy Furs. Uh, two cost. After you reveal a non-autofail symbol on a Chaos token during a skill test you're performing, deal one damage to Heavy Furs, cancel that Chaos token, and return it to the bag. Reveal a new Chaos token. I tonight. really just want there to be things that you can fix with Lonnie that aren't different types of clothes. I think this card is just really good in general. Mm-hmm. It's two Wendy activations for two resources in your body slot, and who cares about that? Yeah. Yeah, you'll know when you want your body slot, and then otherwise you could just grab, like, heavy first. Yeah. Is it worth the card slot is a better question. For some investigators, no. For some of them, yes. I mean, like, if you have that weird thing where you're playing myriad cards and you need one card, you're like, yeah, if we're on heavy first, that's a pretty easy include. Yeah. yeah. In the thick of it. Permanent. Limit one per deck. Purchase decoration. When you purchase in the thick of it, suffer two total physical and or mental trauma, then earn three experience. This Wild. is bad, I think. Um, oh, man. Just never, just don't die. Is this like, uh, for, for example, someone in like, but like, yeah. in like, um, Calvin, it gets you started, you grab a Spirit of Humanity to start off in your deck? Like one of them that you might draw? But it's only for one scenario, because you already start with a bit more damage on you, right? Which is actually, like, relevant yeah. in him. Like, that's the only case I can see it being worth it, right? Yeah, maybe. Because, like, like, even just one Spirit of Humanity, like, just to get you started on that a little bit early, or something else with that three. Yeah. I guess yeah. you might be able to take this and, like, parallel Roland, because he has like nine and eight with the one directive mm -hmm. and then that also gives you eight starting experience mm -hmm. but i yeah this is not something cool. I, I just I, put it in yeah no i mean so on the one hand i'm glad that it's not particularly powerful because it would be an auto include yeah. every deck if it were yeah uh but i think there are many investigators who i could think of that i would want to play this it also helps you play um play like desperate piles right like, you get to start with, start, well, you have to start with trauma, but you get to start with a lower 
Yeah, like that is nice that it lets you just play them without, uh, yeah. as long as you have access to purple, you don't have to... Yeah, like would Pete yeah. be turned on automatically with it? Yeah. yeah. So that, that is a case for it if you're doing a Desperate specifically, right. not just like your run-of-the-mill Ashcan Pete deck. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, I mean, just like the two trauma for three experience I don't think is worth it. Mm -hmm. It's only worth it if you're getting something yeah. else out of it as well. I, th I think it depends. It, like, I, I could conceivably see taking this in Yorick because I'm probably just never going to die anyway. Or like Tommy Muldoon, where again, like I'm probably never going to die. Mm -hmm. Like damage is... Tommy Muldoon is like a little sketchy because you're weakness. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Rod of Animalism! It's We've done it! <laughs> Uh, you have two additional ally slots which can only be used to hold creature assets. When you play a creature asset during your turn, reduce the assets cost by one. So this is obviously here to work with the other card we spoiled. Dag. How, uh, many, how many dogs could you have? Four? Four. So <laughs> many dogs. You just need your teammates to also be playing them and to be willing to give them to you. Um, you can buy some dogs in the black market. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah. You're playing, you're playing black market. You're like, come on, baby, give me some dogs. Uh, sucks that it ain't permanent. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like always, this is nice for a lot of those. Um, the red ones are kind yeah. of garbage. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's those uh, janky decks we built. Yeah, I'm not sure why this rod takes up a necklace slot instead of a hand slot, though. That's kind of odd. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm definitely at some point going to try to put together a pile of cards where I'm convincing these two to play four sled dogs in their decks so that I can take that. I will never play four sled dogs in my deck. <laughs> you can maybe yeah. make you'll, we'll change, you'll change your mind when you witness the power of this fully armed and operational doggo station. Um, I'm not going to put four cards in my deck so only one of us can play the game. <laughs> no, I'll give you something back, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked about sled dogs too. That was our spoiler. Alright, we got our last little bit, which are the multi-class cards. Last little bit, he says. Yeah, which is all. It's of like them. most of, yeah. <laughs> most of the bit. This cycle I like. Yeah, so uh, these ones will go, you basically just get. This one is three different colors. Yes, it yeah, is three different colors. Oh, cool. I, didn't know, I didn't know one. that existed. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> replenish these resources <laughs> yeah. two at the start of round. Uh, resources on it may be spent on a favor, relic, or ritual cards. Uh, and then during a skill test, you can uh, spend a resource from Antiquary to get plus one skill value for the favor, relic, or ritual card. This one is really good because it makes. So favors cost lots of money. Like a buttload, yeah. Yeah, and this pays for them. Relics are good, also cost lots of money typically. Rituals, there's no travel support from except for this. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think all these cards are also really yeah, there's cool. Not there's not much to say about them other than like, yeah. Well, I dig it. Yeah. Uh, I also didn't, I had no idea that there were cards that had three different colors. I am now currently reevaluating every synergy <laughs> card I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, blur, we've talked about this one. Upgraded blur, I think we've also talked about this one. Uh, if not, it's just more. <laughs> it's blur, but more. Yeah. Draw a picture of Sophia and just like smear it. Yeah. Uh, the brand of Kafuga <laughs> uses six charges. Uh, as an action fight, you may use Brain instead of Fist and get plus one skill value for this attack. If you succeed, spend one or two charges. Instead of its standard damage, this attack deals one damage for each charge spent. If you succeed by zero, lose an action. Uses the Elder Sophist to power your pen into the queen. Yeah. 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 That'd be sad, it's a pretty fine fight spell. Yeah. Yeah. Upgraded. Comes in with nine, nine charges. charges. <laughs> you sick. get plus two and spend, spend up to three. Number big. Uh I mean three damage on one action is pretty. Yeah, it's also four experience. Yeah, three, it three. Experience. It is three on uh, success. On success. Yeah, no, like it's it's. And fine. unlike shriveling, it never just kills you. Yeah. Yeah. You well, do lose two actions, and that is also a big number. Um, this is like that other one, so I'm not gonna read it what it does the whole time. But this one focuses on armor, firearm, and melee cards. Sick. I think this <laughs> one's like kind of bad though. I love the art. That dude's fucking giving it to me. He's like, what you fucking say? <laughs> Maybe not, like, because you can spend them to shoot better and stuff like that. I don't think this is particularly valuable as a blue card mm -hmm. um, in many cases, but I think it's quite good for the other two colors. Yeah. Yeah, like, as in blue. It, it In blue, the thing it does, because your fist should 
you're not going to have any issues getting your skill high enough for the fit, for the fight tests, right? Mm -hmm. It's mostly going to pay for your yeah. things. Yeah, the trouble in blue is that uh, you got to be getting more than four resources out of this. Yeah. Um, and what are you playing that you need to pay for so many times? Yeah. Right? No, this is sweet. Even if you're just giving, like for the other two classes, just give your switchblade plus two. <laughs> that's the amount that needs to succeed awful. by. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Um, I mean, you can, also you upgrade switchblade. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, <laughs> very good. <laughs> you can use this to be better at the test on the enchanted armor. Yep. Oh, let's go. You just be better at your shotgun checks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crafty, same thing, but it's insight, tool, or tricks. This one's good. Tool, kind of useless, I think. There's a handful of cards that, like, but you're not going to put this in your deck to be better with tools or to pay for tools, I don't think. But if you're playing a yellow deck and you're like, ooh, I can make my uh, my fingerprint kit better. Sorry. I'm waiting for you to finish. Uh, with just the tool section, or would you like me to finish all of it? However you choose. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're not going to play this to be better at tool checks or to play your tools in most cases. It might be nice as just like something that comes up, but paying for insight even, and trick events is very, very good. I think it depends entirely upon which tools you're, you are attempting to play. Um, I imagine the tools Travis has in mind here are magnifying glasses, in which case I agree 100%. If you're playing this to pay for a magnifying glass, like, Well, no, I said now. fingerprint kit. But yeah, like fingerprint kit, there's like so many, so many tools, like yellow tools in particular. Yeah, in but you're not gonna be things. playing like a tool-centric deck probably. Um, maybe? Like you're not gonna be playing this card to make to support your tools. No, you, you're you, gonna play it for the other ones, and you might get benefit at your tools. Yeah, like point. if if you're using it to reduce the cost of your fingerprint kit, like fingerprint kit is really strong, but not worth four money quite. Uh, you can so play hard. that uh, that stupid cryptographic cipher that I hate. Mm -hmm. You can play that with this. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, your minus one becomes a plus one. No, again, like you, you might include if you're applying to upgrade yeah. this, you might include tools you might not normally play, but you're not going to play it specifically for the tool stuff. This is much better spent paying Challenge for your itself. inside defense, paying for your green things that like you get to pick up after you, if you do good enough because it does both halves of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. See, Brandon said it was a good green card. It's like Opian Hammer. Big. Five this cost, five experience, action, fight, add your brain to skill value for this attack, you deal plus one damage to this attack. If you succeed and the enemy is not elite, you can move it one location away from you. If you succeed by three or more, you can still deal plus two damage and move that enemy up to two locations away from you. Get the fuck out of here! It's just a cool weapon. It is a cool yeah. weapon, yeah. yeah. That's kind of it. It's like a, it's like a time worn brand. Yeah. Only different. Yeah. No, but it's like that same. And niche. cooler. I think it is cooler than Time Warp. I agree. Right? I like the, the art. It is cooler. Yeah. And then just sending the fucking dude uh, yeah. flying. Yeah. Also, like, if you're adding your brain to your skill value for the test and you don't think you can pass... There's probably better weapons for you. <laughs> I mean, like, should you be playing weapons? Yeah. yeah. Talk about Divination, because it's small, as <laughs> Travis yeah. said uh, earlier. Uh, divination, but more. It's just the Clue Gang thing for this one. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Good even. All right, so this one's called Earthly Serenity. <laughs> uh, four charges. This is the level one one. Test brain one. For each point you succeed by, you may spend a charge to heal a damage or a horror from an investigate location. If you succeed by zero, lose one resource. Six charges. It's a red card, too. Weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think this one's good. I, I think they needed a purple and a red card, and they were like, what did both these colors do? Yeah. And this is what they came to, and... It's kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the, for experience, you get a zero, so you technically can't fail, but you can still lose two resources if things go shitty. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, kind of just... Right. Yeah, it's four experience. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I think it depends entirely who you're playing with. Like, if you're playing with somebody who's playing, like... Calvin, you can grief them super hard with this, but you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, uh, but if you're playing with, like, actually somebody playing, like, Daniela mm -hmm. um, or Mark Harrigan, these are probably much more valuable than they would otherwise be. Yeah. yeah I still think they're pretty niche, though. Mm -hmm. They're definitely, like, on the upper end of strictly healing cards, but... Yeah. Like, I, th I think it's 
it's fine because you can split the stuff among so like you can just run the test and if you pass by enough you can be like cool we'll heal everybody yeah but uh hmm. enchanted bow three costs now here's two a purple experience. and uh, red with card exhaust enchanted bow fight you must either use your brain or foot instead of fist and get plus one skill there with this attack <laughs> This attack deals plus one damage. Additional cost to initiate this ability you may spend one charge to have this attack target a not only an enemy in a connecting location. If you do, ignore the aloof and retaliate keywords for this attack. So many investigators can play this. this yeah, so a lot of investigators <laughs> can play that card. Uh, dude, Re Boa Catchy, let's go! <laughs> Boo! Yeah, like, yeah. probably a solid, like, two thirds of investigators. <laughs> I like it. I think this card's gonna be fun and really good. Like just being able to yeah, kill, it's maybe half, kill an aloof enemy, like at the connecting location. I'm gonna shoot that little whippoorwill. Watch your sniper, Luke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hiding in arrows from the trees, but you're the arrows. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Seems no, that's a fun card. That card's really fun. This card can also do some really neat things with um. <sighs> That's Return to the Circle on Dying card that lets you use another spell's activated ability. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And also, like, charges are... A little easier to come by now. Yeah, I was going to say, they're easier to... Mm. Never haven't been easier to put on. Sweet, sweet card. Eon Shark. Uh, I remember the upgrade one for this one's pretty sick, but... Uses three secrets, one experience. During your turn, exhaust it and spend one secret. Choose and take one of the following actions. Move, evade, investigate. We got the green ability, we got the yellow ability, and we stuck them together. Yeah. And this is the card you get. Uh, upgraded one is during your turn exhausted. It's four experience now and spend a secret. Choose and take two of the following actions in any order. Move, evade, or investigate. It's like pre-boring, but very good. Yeah, no. pre-boring, but very good. Ursula down. down. Yep. During your turn exhausted to so choose three of the following. I do like how they had the... Like, investigate and investigate. Um, how they succeeded with both Ursula Downs and Monterey Jack. They're both the explorers yeah. and they both care about movement. I think that's uh, a nice They're design. also like kind of the same character. They are. They are. Woo! Now for my <laughs> next trick! Choose a non-elite enemy at a revealed location up to two connections away. Swap places with that enemy. Sick. This that's is a red card and they just happen to have leftover Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the upgraded version is choose an enemy, lead enemy at any reveal location, cost one less, swap places with that enemy. That's kind of fun, I guess. Could be strong. I promise, Rita can I, play this. I promise I'll play with this at some point. Mm -hmm. I probably will too. I mean, just yeah, all I just, movements really I just strong. want to say, you know, now for my next trick. Oh, I just, I, could, I just love it. Like, yeah. Travis is engaged with an enemy, Bryn's on halfway in the map, and suddenly Bryn's there and the enemy's on the other side. Like... That's, that's kind of, that's, that's strong. It's obviously not a priority upgrade, right? No, because, you know, no, it doesn't not, do it's anything. It's not that much <laughs> like, better. Yeah. Like, two location, two connections away from you and anywhere is not yeah. that dissimilar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jean Boragar. Oh, thank you. Five, three experience. You get plus one book and plus one foot. During your turn, after you move to location, exhaust or move a clue or gnarly enemy from a connecting location to your location or vice versa. Hey, it's Chico's Lola if you want to do other things with your money. Nah, I don't want to do other things with my money. Okay, that's fine. Play a little bit. Because the thing I'm doing with my money is paying five for this lady. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Seems strong. No, she's like really good though. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, not much to say. A playable yellow ally that isn't Miskatonic? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hit me! Uh, fast, play after you reveal a chaos token during a skill test. Reveal an additional chaos token, switching its negative to a plus. Sick. If that token is a skull token, you automatically fail. It's a fun card. Yeah. I'm going to play with this and I'm going to fail every time. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, probably. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I like cards like this because uh, it fits in that, oh, I need two more cards and I'm not that emotionally attached to them. Just give me, hit me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ice pick. I like these cards. This card is quite good. Yeah. Fast as a lightning bolt uh, during a skill test while fighting or investigating an exhaust ice pick, you get plus one skill barrier for this test. Um, the upgraded one is you get plus one skill value for this test. If you succeed, you may discard Ice Pick to have this attack deal plus one damage or to discover one additional clue to your location, which works wonderfully with the guy we spoiled 
um, the professor with like the William Webb yeah. because yeah. you just get it all back. Yeah. I think they're they're cool cards, um, and I'm excited to play with them. I'll do it for you, man. This one's good in New York. It's like real good in New York. <laughs> Can you imagine playing York, but you just get to recur your vicious blow every time? I know I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can imagine a lot of things about York. Yeah. Cool card. Yeah. We talked about you, medical student. We talked about you, Michael Lee. This guy. Nikosi Mabati. Three costs. So three experience, four costs. After Nikosi enters play, name a non Elder Sign token with a symbol. Until this card leaves play, the name to a symbol is your sigil. As a reaction, when an investigator location reveals a cultist, Tablet or squid symbol, exhaust him, search the chaos bag for your sigil, reveal it instead. Yes, everyone, it's made for Jim. <laughs> but, like, if you think about it, so but the new philosophy on Jim is that you want, I'm gonna have to say all this again in the video that we're, we're, we're recording after this, but um, they're all now zeros, right? Like, all of those symbols are now zeros. That's huge. Right? Not it's even like for the skull three synergy. Three extra. So, about. Yeah. It'll be like three extras. Yeah. So, like, that's that's good. Like, that's really good for Jim. Here's, uh, here's what you do you mm -hmm. play this guy and you name the auto fail. And then you play teamwork to trade him to somebody else. <laughs> Well, it's like when an investigator at your location, you can pick someone else. Yeah, well, let's go. You can do it for someone else. The ability, it's better for you to keep it if you want to grief them. Because the ability is <laughs> Yeah, that's is fair. It's not, not forced. forced. It's not forced. So, yeah, yeah they you, just you, won't do, do it. You don't you know? need the you're other guard. Why are you using so. my gift? He's like, I'm going to take damage for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, it's probably the one I, I, I'm most excited about. Uh, just because I think just it's going to be very strong for Jim. In a way that, like, not even, like, caring about what sculpts like exceeding off skull tokens just having more zeros in the bag is huge yeah it's also kind of neat for like all the like shriveling and stuff like that yeah definitely yeah even just like uh yeah no yeah definitely it's cool cool card with the symbol so you could say bless can i don't yeah, like you, have to, you have to actually yeah, like reveal take it out after yeah but yeah but what bless but then you can't do it if you can't reveal the bless token Right, yeah. because you have to actually reveal it. Yeah. Otherwise, he's like, I got nothing for you. Yep. Old shotgun. Uh, uses zero ammo while playing an event. Treat shotguns uses value as two. As an action, spend an ammo fight. You get plus three fists for this attack instead of its standard damage. This attack's damage is equal to the amount you succeed by or fail by. If you fail, and would damage on the investigator to a minimum of one to a maximum of three. Yeah, so this, this works with like ammo reload stuff, sleight of hand, and ever vigilant. And I think that might be it. Yeah, maybe. But it works with Sleight of Hand real good. It does. So Sleight of Hand right now cares about experience It cares level. about its experience level. It okay. cannot be... Yeah, <laughs> no, it cannot be higher than three. Yeah. Um, yeah, card's kind of neat. Yeah. 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 On the trail! One experience. Choose an enemy in any location other than yours. Either move twice toward that enemy or discover or include any empty location between you and the chosen enemy along the shortest path to reach that enemy. Upgraded version is move twice toward it or discover or include each location. Uh, discover or include each location you enter by this effect. If you want to play this card, I think this is a priority upgrade. Yeah, well, your version is yeah. pretty sweet. It's like a lot. Also, look at the hot mess it commits for. I know. <laughs> like, just give us a wild symbol. Like, yeah. it's so much easier. Sick. Puppy. Yes. Yeah. Pocket telescope. Look at this guy. He's having a great time. Uh, as an item bolt exhaust it, look at the revealed side of a connecting unrevealed location. As an action, investigate. Investigate a revealed connecting location as if you were there. Seems pretty alright. It's a tool. Uh, seems really good if you want to keep this in your deck until horror and high gear. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, I think this is... As if you're not, eh. Like, it does save you move actions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it also, unlike Luke, it doesn't say engage as if you're engaged each enemy there, so you can, like, investigate underneath enemies. I guess. Potentially, yeah. It maybe. Check out. Maybe, maybe not. Once again, gun to my head, I have a 50-50 shot of <laughs> yeah. my brain's on the wall. <laughs> Get more comprehensive rules. That would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a hodgepodge of, like, 
this was set on yeah. Discord. There are there are also a lot of uh, a lot of locations that hurt you for moving into them. Yeah. Or are bad if there's an investigator there, or even hurt you for being there at the end of the turn, or mm -hmm. you know what have you. There's a couple scenarios this is really strong in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like uh, catacombs is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I bet this is really good for either one of our resident explorers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Precious Memento, three cost, four experience. Uh, limit one, Precious mm -hmm. Memento from a former life per deck. As a reaction, after you fail a skill test by two or more exhausted to heal one damage from it, after you succeeded a skill test by two or more exhausted to heal one horror from it. Hey, they took the two things, Travis, and put them together. Yeah, you can also play the other version, which is the same thing, but swapped. But, <laughs> like... Inverted. Yep. Uh, seems pretty sick with a Relic Hunter. You just won't ever die. <laughs> yeah, it's just a solid uh, healy thing. Yeah. Soak. Yeah. True. Hey, we spoiled this guy. Look at that. Our nice, fancy, official version of it. Yeah. Uh, level zero one, I don't really need to talk about. I want this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. Prophetic. Same thing as before. Fortune, spell, and spirit. You're always playing spell cards. Uh, fortune has never been relevant before. Uh, fortune is like... It's lucky. Very relevant to red. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of fortunes in red. Look what I found. Yeah, look what I found okay. is, a, is a fortune. I yeah, believe. no, it was more a comment on uh, that I don't know which ones are fortunes because yeah. I've never cared about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, mo it's pretty much a red thing. Yeah. Okay, that uh, makes sense. I think probably this I mean, really good for Calvin then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He plays all kinds of that stuff. He plays all of those things. It's probably good for Nacho. It Nacho. Seems also, like it'd be good with uh, Patrice, right? Yeah. Always having your stuff relevant, like always having resources for it. Like, especially like a Lucky, because you kind of just need to fire that off, right? And if you ever caught, like. You could just not play Lucky. Yeah, you could. I mean, also, I think Lucky is bad in Patrice, too, but, you know. You just play a bunch of bad cards in your deck, this would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of very powerful no. spirits, though. And yeah. if you're not playing spells playing purple, I would just mean, like, you're doing something strange. Yeah. I do get what you're saying, though, Joseph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just nice to have extra money lying around. Yeah. Protecting the Aniric... Anirnik? Don't know how to pronounce that, but fast. Play after an ally, so can, uh, ass, ally asset your location is discarded by card effect or is defeated. Either return that asset to its owner's hand or its owner draws three cards. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty it's sweet. Is it worth two experience? I don't know. What do you mean I can't play this in Leo Anderson? You can't do magic. He's just a guy. And? <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. Is it worth two experience? It seems cool, though, you know? It probably is if you're Dexter. You can just make them be discarded whenever you would like. Yeah, because it's sort of discarded yeah. by a card effect, yeah. yeah. Or you just let them die. Yeah. You could just let them, let them all die. Oh, I think that card's sweet of sacrifice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just come back. Six cards. Oh, yeah, <laughs> six cards, yeah. Uh, like when you draw one. a hazard treachery, deal one damage, one horde of protective gear, cancel that card's revelation effect. It's a pretty fine card. Art's sweet. Art is sweet. If you if you do sleep in it like the flavor text suggests, then you get uh, you get exhaustion penalties the next day. That's true. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you do, it's true. If Dungeons & Dragons has taught me anything. Yeah, no, uh, I think it's like you would want to use this in a campaign where there's a lot more hazards than not, but... I mean, it's yeah. even fine just blind. Yeah, as like four for three, three soak. That takes up your body slot that is like takes up your okay. body slot is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. um, Two experiences, like... But I mean, you're probably, if, if you're buying it for the soak, you're probably buying it at the point where you're like later on and you have a lot of trauma and you need to like think to keep you alive. No, right? you're just... Uh, or you're Tommy Muldoon. Yeah, or you're Tommy Muldoon, like, yeah. Like even, even Yorick. And you can just play it out of your discard pile if you need more. Mm -hmm. um. Quick draw holster. Sick. Choose a firearm asset, take it up only one hand slot in your play area. Attach it to quick draw holster or switch it with the attached asset. Uh, exhaust it, uh, perform a fight action on the attached asset without paying its action cost. This is super cool. This has too many words. It's a uh, book lady, but for gun. <laughs> Um, I agree, there's a lot of words on the card. Mm -hmm. Choose a firearm asset that you have only one slot in your play area attach it to quick draw holster or switch it with the attached asset. This book lady 
for your gun, Brent. Like that's real cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is really cool. It is cool. Yeah. Is it worth four experience in body slot? Probably, yeah. And four money? I'm willing I'm willing to accept that it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brent. Sledgehammer. This fight. Sweet. You get minus one fist and deal plus one damage to this attack. Double action fight. You get plus two fist and deal plus two damage for this attack. Upgraded version. Fight. You get plus one and Holy deal plus shit. one damage. Three <laughs> fights. Look at that. You get plus get five fight and deal plus five damage for this attack. Yeah, that's sweet, man. Yeah. You just go around crunching people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty sick. Uh, plus five damage. I can't even count that up. <laughs> I mean, like six three damage. actions, yeah. but like for six, yeah, three just like six sure. actions for six damage is nice, but also you get plus five and watch pass one test. Yeah, yeah. Which and then the true value lies. Oh, and then we're gonna have this thing where one of us is gonna be holding the enemy, and then Burns like, "Do you trust me?" And we're like, "No." And he's like, "That's okay." Sucks to suck. And then he draws the auto fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The card's also real sweet with uh, well prepared because how could you not be prepared with a sledgehammer? Oh. Yeah, I'm just crunch things for eight. I have to add this one to my list too. Sledgehammer's fucking sick. <laughs> Fun card. All right, sleuth, uh, charm, tactic, tome. The hell's a charm? <laughs> a lucky cigarette case is a charm. Oh, okay. Yeah, rabbit's foot is a charm. Yeah. Okay. Um, several of the I, of of several of the types pieces. of yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. But you're so, off class. You can if you're like several things that take up uh, take up the accessory slaughter charms. Yeah. No, I've noticed these cards are like two yeah. good ones and then like another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one's got charm and tome, and then yeah, you got tactics too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Snipe. Look yeah, this what guy man. One experience during the next fire action. You perform this uh, turn using a ranged or fire asset. Treat each uh, symbol token you reveal or oh, negative symbol is a zero. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. It's pretty sweet for a shotgun deck. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like almost that's, it. Yeah. That's not sniping. But that's cool. I do agree. It's not sniping. Yeah. Yeah, it should allow you It should just like to headshot. Or... Take aim. Good, yeah, take aim. Yeah, good yeah, aim! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talisman of protection. It's a charm. Hey, look at that. Fast. Play only during your turn. Play under the... Control of any investigated location as a reaction when you're assigned damage and or horror that would defeat you, discard talisman protection, cancel to two of that damage and or horror. They really struggled to find parallels between purple and red, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I almost like this better than Perseverance. Because it's fast and I can play it when I have the money and yeah. I don't have to just keep two money and hope that the game never makes me discard it. Yeah, yeah it does depend on uh, if you're playing. Um, like, it is a little bit less flexible, and it commits from one brain instead of two. Yes. It also takes this an arcane so. slot. Mm -hmm. Which, for some investigators, is not ideal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, this one, it's just... It's my thought unique. process is just, if you're red, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unscrupulous loan. This one's kind of neat. Uh, cannot leave play limit one per investigator. After you play Unscrupulous Loan, gain 10 resources forced. When the game ends, or you are eliminated, if you have fewer than 10 resources in your resource pool, exile Unscrupulous Loan. <laughs> so if you're playing big money dot deck, this, this is, is the like, truth. This is, this is yeah. actually the truth, because <laughs> yeah. you're never going to end the game with less than 10 resources, because otherwise your deck isn't working. Yeah, because you're just not going to spend your 10 <laughs> you resources. You just don't spend it. You're just like, can I have this? Yeah, okay, cool. You can have it back. Yeah, and like with the frickin' upgraded, um, well connected, this automatically now you're just at yeah. plus two on one card. Yeah. And for red, I mean, like, maybe That's you fun. just maybe you just default <laughs> on your loan. Why just does like, red oh, no. want this? Oh, because it's exile, right? Yeah. You can get back with the Ejava. You can use oh, yeah, all your resources. That, that one word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's part of uh, part of the exile archetype. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, We're done. There's the weaknesses. We're not going to talk about them. We don't really talk about that stuff. We complain about them when we draw them. But I don't like the designs yeah. of these ones. Um, that is it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed our list video from, like, three days ago. <laughs> hope that's been a good time for you. Uh, have a good one. And as always, GG's.